Hey guys, Darren with you here for East Woodland Survival. Today we're going to finish up uh, another part of our fire lay series. This is part four, and uh, we're going to be talking about the Viking log or Swedish torch. Uh, it's called three or four other things, Finnish torch. Uh, I've always known it as a Viking log. Uh, pretty easy to do. And it's kind of a cool fire, so uh, check this out. Okay guys, uh, what I have here is just a piece of uh, eastern red cedar. You can use pretty much any kind of wood at all for this. Uh, hickory, oak, anything will work. Pine. And uh, it's kind of a neat little uh, little thing. I've known it as uh, the Viking torch uh, pretty much all my life, but I hear people calling it the Swedish torch or uh, Viking log, uh, Danish log, that type of stuff, Finnish log. Anyway, Viking. Hey. Um, I've just split this up and as you can see, I've, I kind of tried to hold it together as much as I could. Some of them busted out just uh, from the uh, from the axe. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come in between these splits and just stuff some kindling and tinder down in here. And uh, we'll see how that works. Just got some pieces that were actually out of the piece right here that I just split up with my axe that we're going to use. And I'm going to just take some of this bark, birch bark, and start shoving down in between some of these gaps. And I want it kind of loose in here. Now the great thing about this type of fire is you could build this directly on snow or really wet ground and it will burn. It's also a great fire for cooking because uh, this creates a flat surface to cook on. And I found it's a little easier if you can leave this not busted all the way through. You can see these are kind of still hung on. These busted out. And that's about all I'm going to put in there. I'm going to take a couple pieces of these little uh, kindling sticks and just kind of set down in there for now. Just kind of give it a little fuel. You're actually be using the, uh, you'll actually be using the log as the fuel. So let's light this thing up and see what we got. I'm just going to use a lighter if I can find it. And I'm going to try to compress these in just a little bit more. Like so. And then let's light this thing and see what happens. This is the second one I've made today. The first one uh, I used kind of a little bit of a wet wood and it didn't really catch. But I did find you need to add a little bit of kindling to this as it burns to catch the fuel on fire. You see there that one's that one kind of kind of tuckered out on me. So we'll try it again. I'm not afraid to show mistakes because I make them all the time, guys. So let's try this once again. Just gonna shove this thing full with some tinder here. And I'm gonna put some kindling in there too. small stuff to get it going. A 
like I say, this is the second one I've done today. So, uh, make a feather stick really quick or two. Shove in there. Give it something to catch on. Try this again, guys. Just going to start by lighting around it. I don't think that caught over there very well. Taking a slow, sweet time getting caught up there. Oops, I may have just put it out. I hope not. Gonna build a few on here to add to this side here and back down in this hole. few feathers down in there. It's taking a little longer than I expected to get caught up here. cooking now. let this thing get going really good and uh, I'm gonna keep it rolling so you don't think I did anything to it uh, <laughs> Now it's going pretty good guys. I can actually see the fuel, which is the log itself, on fire in there now. 
still doesn't have this side right here going really well. But I can alleviate that problem. it a little bit. All right, guys, that's the Swedish torch there going pretty good. I'll uh, get the camera and zoom in here a little bit on it. See it burning down in there. See if I can get it zoomed. New camera, so I'm trying to figure this out. As you can see, this is completely up off the ground. Uh, so you could actually put this in snow or whatever and this would still go. Uh, I do recommend adding some more tinder in there. Like I said, this is the second, second one of these I built today. And uh, I'm kind of liking it so far. Set your pan directly on top of that to cook on. Kind of a cool little, uh, little idea there. Guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thank you for watching. Please rate. Comment, subscribe, like, hit that like button, and uh, appreciate all you do, and thank you very much for viewing. Hope to see you in the woods.